Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So in this list, I'm going to be showing you five common health practices that are hurting us. Number five, hand sanitizers. You can't go anywhere these days without seeing people squirting hand sanitizer on their hands. While yes, keeping your hands clean is good, the use of hand sanitizers have some worrying knock-on effects. Let's put aside the chemicals they contain and of course the alcohol that dries out your skin and focus just on their bacteria killing abilities. Yes, hand sanitizers do kill bacteria, but that's not the end of the story. The frequent use of them have made some bacteria evolve to become resistant. These are known as superbugs that aren't so easily killed. Killed. So maybe we should just settle to accept that we can't kill and destroy every bit of bacteria out there and let our bodies do the killing for us. Number 4. Antibiotics Antibiotics without a doubt have saved countless lives since they were invented. However, much like the hand sanitizer, we may have overused them. Antibiotics should really have only been used in extreme cases. However, over the years people have used them for small bacteria infections that your body would have easily dealt with naturally. We've also used them excessively in livestock, literally pumping animals full of antibiotics from day one. Instead of just keeping the animals in good conditions and treating them fairly, the mass factory farming industry decided to treat them like crap and pump them full of antibiotics so they don't die early. The overuse of antibiotics for humans and for livestock in farming have now hit us hard. Super bacteria resistant to antibiotics now exist, and scientists are desperately trying to create antibiotics that can kill them. However, this is obviously just a vicious cycle. When the new antibiotics come out, we will again overuse them, and before you know it, an even more super bacteria will exist. Number 3. Painkillers Pharmaceutical companies today tell you you have to take a pill for any problem you have. The short-term benefits are great, but taking a pill isn't always the best solution. Painkillers, for example, are fantastic. If you've got a headache, pop a pill, and within 20 minutes, you feel fine. However, this doesn't tackle the root of the problem. If you're getting headaches frequently, there is a reason for it. It's much better in the long term to tackle the underlying issue than just covering it up. Maybe it's you don't drink enough water, your sleeping position, your eyesight, etc. Whatever it is, figure it out before resorting to painkillers. For example, if your car's check engine light comes on, it would be silly to just break the light and pretend nothing happened. No, instead you take it to the garage where they can fix the actual problem. Using painkillers over many years can also become addictive, to the point where a person will feel pain if they don't take painkillers. They can also change the brain chemistry of users, and some studies are shown to possibly cause the onset of dementia. Number 2. Margarine Margarine is sold as a healthy alternative to butter. In today's world, most people will buy margarine over butter, mainly because it doesn't taste that different, it's supposedly healthier, and it's much easier to spread. However, margarine isn't all that healthy at all. In fact, it's outright bad for you. Whether it's better than butter is up for debate, but what we do know is that butter doesn't contain harmful trans fats, and margarine does. If you really want to be healthy, you should ideally avoid both, or at very least not eat it daily. Number 1. Going to the doctor for the common cold You'd be surprised how many people go to the doctor for a common cold. Even more shocking is how many people demand antibiotics. Despite the fact that antibiotics will be completely useless since a cold is caused by a virus and not bacteria. The best thing for you when you have a cold is sleep, water and good nutritious food to up your immune system. There's no miracle cure for a cold and going to the doctor will only make it worse, since you'll be spreading the virus about and just wasting your energy when you could be sleeping. Thank you for watching. To subscribe, click over here to watch another awesome video and click down here. Do make sure to turn on channel notifications and follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat. All details are on screen and in the description below. Once again, thank you for watching and until next time, feed your mind.